Is there any science fiction you admire? Or that you enjoy? Or do you see the holes in science fiction and go, I can't enjoy that? Of course he would know the effects of a neutron star. He doesn't know tidal forces? <laughs> like, do, you, do you have that problem? Do you have that problem? I only have the problem if the movie is marketed for its accuracy. Number one. Number two, they got to get some basic science right. After that, I'm okay. So, for example, in the latest Star Trek movie, they had this, like, this red, this, this liquid. The red matter. The red matter, thank you. Release the red matter. Release the red matter, and you drop it into the core of a planet, and it turns a planet into a black hole? I thought that's kind of cool. <laughs> what was a little weird was... Why did Nick turn the ship into a black well, hole? No, 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 because they had the special apparatus that surrounded it. The, the special apparatus device. did what? It, it's the anti-black hole apparatus. <laughs> Losing sleep that didn't bug you? over what held the black hole. I didn't have an issue with that. But oddly, what I had an issue with was they needed this drill, which was a very cool kind of, that was the coolest thing I'd ever seen. Exactly. A drill, they would drill to the center of, the, of the, your planet, and they dropped to the, I'd say, if that would turn a planet into a black hole from its center, it surely would turn a black hole, in, turn into a black hole from its surface. <laughs> That would Kirk and Sulu fight on. I know, right. They have to fight on the platform. So I'm okay. I'm t I, I, I got angry with Jim Cameron in, in, about Titanic. That's how I got angry. Did I tell you, I didn't tell you the story. You did not. Oh, no, come on. I've never seen you this angry before. <laughs> Hold me back. I can't wait to see what you have to say about Avatar. <laughs> <laughs> you might turn blue with rage. Go on. So what was your problem with Titanic? There's a colleague of mine who saw Avatar, and he got home, and he, he told his wife he wanted to paint her blue, and that didn't go over very well. <laughs> Is she 10 feet tall? <laughs> so Titanic, you may remember, was marketed as a film of high accuracy because Cameron had funded this submersible to go down and, and it checked out the, the state rooms and the wall sconces and the china patterns, and so they reproduced that to detail. And so here they recreate the ship for the movie. Can you double check that? No, because he had the submersible. You just have to trust him, okay? No, you gotta trust him. So now, the ship sinks, yes. right? Did I give away the... <laughs> you see the movie yet? I'm sorry. Okay, so the ship sinks. I do, I remember. You remember, okay? Very sad. And it's Kate Winslet. <laughs> On the, on the floor, remember that? And yes. she's, a little, she's delirious. This isn't the scene where she's naked. Oh, it's not. Go on, she's dressed, okay, go ahead. No, she's on the floor, on, on, the, on the whatever, the plank, and, all right, she's looking up. We know the day, the day, the time, the weather conditions, the longitude, the latitude. We know all of this about the sinking spot of the Titanic. There is only one sky she should have been looking at, and it was the wrong sky. <laughs> worse, worse than that, worse than that, the left side of the sky was a mirror reflection of the right side of the sky. So it was not only wrong, it was lazy. And I halfway through, they just might just flip it, just flip oh, it. No one will know. And so, I was living. Ooh. I got out my finest stationery, and I wrote a letter to Jim Cameron. No reply. Five years later, I bumped into him. He was on the NASA committee, and my sort of presence with NASA was growing by then. But I bumped into him in a meeting. And I said, Mr. Cameron, I just want to, I just have to ask. You know, the sky that was, is not the right, it's blood, what, what? And he says, well, actually that happened in post-production. So, so he's absolving himself of guilt. But I wanted him to grovel in front of my feet, which he did not do. Now, wait, 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 wait. So I was angrier after that. Later on, Wired Magazine honors him for Discoverer of the Year, Explorer of the Year. And they want to hold their party at the Rose Center for Earth and Space. You come into my house and get the sky wrong. Okay. Am I, my microphone working? Fall. You're loud enough, you don't need a microphone. Right, right. <laughs> there you go, it fell down. Can you hear me now? Yes. So, he's in my house. And as a courtesy, they extended me an invitation to have dinner with a small group of them after this award ceremony. So I said, yeah. So, we go to dinner. There's six of us at the table. The wine is pouring. Uh -oh. <laughs> so, 
I said, Jim, I don't know if you remember, but I brought this up some time ago about the sky. And I wouldn't be so upset, except that everything else you boasted was so accurate. And we can't even check how accurate that is, but anybody can spend $50 for a planetary sky program and look at the sky and know that you got the wrong sky. What gives? And you know what he said? He said, last I checked, worldwide, Titanic has grossed $1.3 billion. Imagine how much more it would have grossed if I got in the sky right <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that, that, if I had a tail, it would have been like between my legs, and I would have... And so oh, I, I think you won that conversation. <laughs> no, actually I did. He, he retreated into his bank account. <laughs> Here's what but, I... You know, but that money will all eventually be gone, and he would still have gotten the sky wrong. Oh, that's an interesting point. That's right. The sky will... Outlive will... even James Cameron. <laughs> however, however, as dejected as I was, two weeks later I get a phone call. Forgot the guy's name. He calls me up and says, Hello, is Dr. Tyson? I said, Yes. He said, This is, I forgot his name, Johnny Smith. I work in post production for Jim Cameron. He is releasing a 10 year director's cut anniversary edition of the Titanic, and it will be adding new footage from the deck. And he tells me, You have a sky that he can use. <laughs>